Can I? I don't really have an answer for this one. Can can I phone a friend? If can you I want. use a lifeline to phone a friend? Well, you took your 50-50 already. That's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Thursdays. We have a pretty busy episode coming up today because we have a little segment and then we have uh, a few things to promote at the very end which are some shows that are either in Edmonton and in Saskatoon so oh, yeah. got to promote all that. Stick around to the end to hear about the shows. Yeah. Coming I mean up. why would you leave during the middle of the video anyway? Yeah. We're, we're so good at this by right now. <laughs> Week 13. Well, we gotta keep your attention, keep grasped. Yeah, um, so with that, why don't we just do a Thursday taste test? Hashtag triple T. Right there. Let's and see what you got. I don't know what he's got here. This is called the Franchelico. Oh, God. And it's a liqueur. Nothing. It comes with a little rope on it, too, so it's special. <laughs> I honestly don't know too much about the history of this. So this is kind of new to both of us. It's brand new too. Oh. And the only thing I could tell you is it has a hazelnut almond taste to it. Honestly, mm -hmm. from what I remember, I can't remember. Exactly. It's not my favorite, yeah. but we'll just we'll see. Blue so if you want, show. Yeah. if you want like a natural reaction of us having Franchelico. Yeah, I don't know what I'm getting into here, but I just I feel oh, like from my child. Only oh, childhood, but my teenage years. It's your infant years yeah. of drinking and sweeping chimneys. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. To Frangelico and to the Back Score Global members and to everyone else tuning in. Happy Thirsty Thursdays to you. Cheers. Oh, it wasn't as bad as I thought. No, that's not bad. Well, that's pretty good. I thought it'd be strong. It's pretty sweet. Like it's like, like it. Uh, not bad. Try it out if you're uh, into liqueurs. It's definitely probably up there with the liqueurs. Oops. Of like good liqueurs, I can definitely say it's uh, I'm not a big fan of liqueurs, but if you are, that's one. Of that's the drink to have. For sure. So try we'll it. Link the description in the video Friend below. Jellico. Check out their website. You might actually enjoy what they make. So that there was also another topic is the race that's coming up in a few days. It's in North Battleford. It's at the exhibition grounds at one o'clock. That's really all I know. What do you know about any of it? And it's it's a it's a dirt track race. Is what it is? Yeah. I don't know a whole lot of details on it. I know some of our members are involved. Can I phone a friend? Can I use a lifeline? Can I phone a friend? Well, I guess. I mean, you used up your 50-50 there, so that's all I <laughs> And your, what, what was uh, that? Wait, what's that one you get? Can I ask the audience? That's the audience, yeah, and that's... Uh, <coughs> I think we got an audience to ask. I'm going to phone a friend. Yeah, we don't have much of an audience here, so let's try this. Let's do a new contact here. Yeah, let's, let's try uh, phoning a friend here. Let's give that a go. So is this person, um, they're part of the, they're part of the race, right? Is what it is? Yeah, no, this guy's part of the race. He's a Baxter MB member. Mr. Kelly Kramer. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going, man? How are you? Oh, well, not bad, you know, just having a drink in the studio. Yeah, we're recording an episode. What, uh, what are you sipping on this evening? <laughs> Some Franchelico is what we tasted. Have you heard of it? No, sir, give me the, uh, give me the DL on that. <laughs> it's a, uh, uh, Italian liqueur is what it is. Hazelnut, hazelnut. Yeah, it's alright. It's, uh, nothing to get too excited about, but it's okay. You don't seem to get excited about too much anything in your States fine. <laughs> They're all excellent quality. They should you all. You just gotta start bringing in the whiskey, and then they get fired up. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, that's very good reason they don't think of it. Yeah. 
So we were talking about the race coming up this weekend. Yeah. And, uh, well, not the long weekend, it's on after September 9th. There. It's on September 9th. Yeah. 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 It's, uh, uh, my brother was quizzing me on it, but then the whole, I know it's at the Battleford Exhibition Grounds, that's much I know. Yeah, yeah you bet, uh, Exhibition Grounds racing starts at 1 p.m. Uh, on Saturday. There's a swap meet in the morning, though. There's a bunch of tables uh, set up, so for guys looking for, uh, you know, park or just new wants to come kick it, whatever, you can be there pretty much all day. So it's like uh, $15 admission, and then seniors and students, but ten bucks and six hundred for free, so pretty uh, cheap little entertainment for the family for all the events. What, I thought I read a thing somewhere said something about a show and shine. Is that like the bikes that are racing are shining up? Well, show? Uh, no, there's also like out front they have a motorcycle parking area, and then they uh, they have actually it's like a show and shine. Last year I think there was sixty or seventy bikes just rode out to the race. Set up for the show and shine, so that was pretty cool. Cool. You can see it to walk through that before you even get to the race. So it's pretty well, neat. That's all right, on. Yeah. Wow. So yeah. Is, is that uh, just Saturday or is it Sunday too? No, it's the one day on Saturday. Oh, yeah. Okay. One day. Yeah, a bunch of us uh, Max for MB guys are going to be volunteering to help out on that thing too. Yeah, for sure. And then who's hosting that? Who are the guys in charge of that? It's uh, put on by the Battle for Tag Society because it's at the exhibition grounds. Right. And then the uh, other main push on that one is the uh, North Battle for Canadian uh, Legion of Riders Association. They're uh, a biker, uh, they, I don't know, well, not a gang or nothing like that, but they're a uh, bunch of Legion of Riders, they're a bunch of good guys in North Battle for, and they've all got motorcycles in mind. They're men and women of all uh, shapes and sizes, variety of all life, and uh, it's awesome, all different kinds of bikes, and they put on different uh, rides throughout the whole summer for uh, fundraising for different veteran things or for legions of different places. So I guess the proper thing would to do is invite you for the following week to properly bring in here, because you are the yeah. DL of our backs for Yeah, it'd be nice NBA to talk Vision. about the whole battle axe in North Battleford and all of that as well. That'd be a great topic and come swing by, that'd be great. You can bring your first place trophy with you. Yeah, you should. <laughs> <laughs> what do you, yeah, did you get your bike fixed? Get, a... get your bike fixed what? up or what? You working well, on it? Let's see, I'm working on it. It's just so ready. It'll be, it'll be ready. I got a, a couple tricks up my sleeve. I want to make it a little bit faster. Did you clip, I heard you clipped the bales last. <laughs> I got, wow. I got pushed into the bales. This other <laughs> rookie, he, he didn't really, he had too much bike for what he could handle and he was all over the place. It either hit him or hit the bales, man. I got a pile into the bales that are a little more forgiving than some rookie on a bike. Yeah, right on. Okay, well, cool. Be sure everyone uh, will spread the word. Make sure everyone comes out this Saturday. A bunch of us will yeah. be out there for sure, no doubt. And uh, should be a good time. And like you say, it's a cheap, good family event for North Battleford to come out and have a, have some good entertainment and some good fun for everybody. It's an all-day event, so you don't have any excuses to miss the morning, afternoon, or <laughs> evening. Yeah. Yeah. For all of it. Or at least a part of it, at least. Right. Yeah, it'll be a good time. Hopefully, uh, we get a good turnout, and uh, well, from there, it'll be great. Right on. Well, yeah, thanks, well, thanks for helping me out. For my brother was grilling me for questions, so I used my I used my phone a friend, and uh, I was gonna I was gonna ask the I was gonna ask the audience, but there's not not a whole lot of people here. There's a fly buzzing around the room. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thanks. Thanks for the phone call, Kelly. Hello, it's Marcus. Thanks for giving me a shout. We'll talk to you later. All right, okay. everyone, bye. You yeah, bet. Well, it's Kelly, and he's the DL of the North Battleford Division yeah, that bet. we are, are a part of as well. Yep, yep, yep. So that is the man in charge under Josh. Josh is one step above, and then there's. Uh, it's really that one two punch. Works, though, right? yeah, we're, yeah, we all work together real close yeah. around here. So. So speaking of also what we said earlier when we started this episode was about a few shows that were happening. Oh, bring it back, bring it back, <laughs> back to the back to the beginning. Yeah, you mentioned some shows, some announcements, some shows coming up. 
So we talk about Kelly, and he's very good friends. We all really are. Uh, the brothers Graham and Edmonton. Yeah, they're also Backstore members in the Edmonton division. Shout out to those guys. And so one week from today, I believe, it's September 14th on the Thursday. It's in Edmonton, and I want to get this address right. It's 10549 82nd Avenue. And it's called The Forge. I'm pretty sure anybody in Edmonton heard the of The Forge place. on 82nd Ave. Let's put up the poster. Boom. Here's and so, poster. Uh, Pimpton is the headliner for that show. Yeah, as you've seen, Pimpton. Pimpton's rolling through on his tour right now. So, brother's Incredible Green, rapper. Too. Opening oh. for Pimpton. Pimpton's a pretty big name. So Huge. You want to support your local hip-hop around Western Canada or Canada in general, you come check out the show. Give a shout out to the Brothers Grimm. Absolutely, and so uh, what we can do is just put the links of Brothers Grimm Facebook page below. Yeah. Click on that, you'll see their um, event page, and then you'll get all the info off that. Or if you want to pause the screen right now and you'll see the poster, it's right there again. And so, and what's the other show? We have another show as well, and this one's closer to us. It's in Saskatoon. Yeah, yeah. And a good friend of ours as well, Sequel. Sequel. Saskatoon. He's been doing great things these past this past summer. He's been running that underground hip hop. He's, yeah. He runs a, a tight shit, man. He's very professional. I uh, admire a lot of the work he does. He does. He holds a lot of events in Saskatoon. He's brought me in and part of them. Uh, just a lot of respect going out to Sequel and just want to thank him for all that he does for the hip hop scene in Saskatoon. He's a big part Absolutely. of that. So please, if you're in Saskatoon, support the guy, come out. And so the he's show? gonna be the one opening and Necro. You're like we're a big good oh, fan of Necro. Like we've all already been all talking about this. we I think we're all getting tickets, we're gonna go yeah. up and cheer and on so, sequel and check out Necro. And on top of that too, Matt Child will be there. He's also Who's that guy? Yeah, who's who? Matt who? Child. Matt Matt Child. Who's yeah. Matt Child? I don't know. <laughs> but no, that's that's even more of an incentive to go watch the show. Yeah, it's uh, and, reasonably priced, so it's not... It is. And so the date for that one is Saturday, October 21st. I think there's a poster for that. Yeah, too. right there. There's a Necro poster right there you can see. And that one's at the Saskatoon Event Center. Check that one out. It's a Saturday. There's no reason to miss out that one unless you're working. Gotta go, gotta go check out Match. Uh, and he's, he's got a new album out, gotta check out Necro. Necro's always doing some real great yeah. underground stuff. And as we said, Sequel has been doing things all summer long and he's been promoting his work. Yeah. He has the Odd Man album come out in the spring. Yeah, he has a new album come out in the spring. And with that being said, is there anything else we need to touch on? Uh, I think the pretty good outro for this one is... How about we just try another Franchelico shot? We start with it, we'll just end with a little... I guess the one. Yeah, it's just over here. So, I, mean, I, I can. I can yeah. What's it coming to go? <laughs> what is that like Italian? <laughs> Italian plumbing. <laughs> What's that coming to go? It sounds like something Mario. Would say. <laughs> it's, it's from it's, Italy. It's. Uh, it's What's that coming to go? Okay, there you go. Cheers. Cheers to the the brothers Grimm, to sequel, to Necro, oh, Mad Child, and Tom Timpton. And to Kelly and Brad Kramer, we'll be racing this weekend. Come check us out in North Alford, the exhibition grounds. And we'll see you next Thursday.